Yo, have you ever wanted to become a sponsored scooter rider? Well, if you have, today I'm going to be giving you my top five tips in order to help you guys become a sponsored scooter rider. So, let's get straight into the video. Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If I'm new on your screen, my name is Nick Seddon and today I'm going to be giving you guys my top five tips in order to help you guys become a sponsored scooter rider. So basically what I'm going to be doing is going through each five of the tips, telling you what I think of them, what you should be doing to put them into your riding and even like your just life when trying to get sponsored. And hopefully it will help you guys pick up a sponsor quicker. Um, this, this isn't going to happen overnight, but over time if you keep doing these things, you're going to get looked at and people are going to be looking at you more often and then you'll eventually pick up a sponsor so let's get straight into the first tip and hope you guys enjoy alrighty guys my first tip is something that annoys me so so much and it's people saying that flips get you sponsored <laughs> no no they don't yes you have to be a pretty decent scooter you have to be able to do a few tricks on a scooter but being able to flip isn't going to get you sponsored. You could do a double flare and still not get sponsored for years. So, yes, you have to be a good scooter rider, but don't go out there trying to learn flips thinking that if you learn a flip, you're going to get sponsored straight away. You're not. Just ride, get the tricks down, get as many bangers as you can, and just ride the way you want to. Don't go out and learn how to do flips and stuff or buttercups if you want to be riding ledges and rails. If you want to ride ledges and rails, you can still get a sponsor by riding ledges, rails, and all that. But if you want to do buttercups and stuff, go do buttercups and stuff. Like, you can do any style of riding. It's just whatever riding style suits you best and you enjoy the most, that's what you should do. So, just stick to your riding style. Don't go out and try and learn something that other people say. Someone might come to you and be like, oh, if you learn how to do a flare, you'll be able to get a sponsor. Don't listen to them. It's wrong. Just go out and have fun and just ride your scooter. Alrighty, tip number two is another very, very important tip and that is to have a positive mindset at the skate park. You don't want to be going to the skate park having a negative mindset telling kids to F off because they're getting in the way of your clips or they're just snaking you a lot. Everyone goes to the skate park to have fun, so don't ruin that for other kids. Um, if they do get in your way, just tell them mindfully, hey mate, do you reckon you can watch out when you do this? Don't go up to them and start swearing at them and all that. It's not going to look good for the sponsors when they look at you. So just. Have, but have fun when you go to the skate park. Go there, hand stickers out to the kids, ride with the little kids, push them to become better scooter riders. And what that's going to do is just make you feel better as one. And then those little kids are going to tell their mates, oh, this kid's really cool, like he helps me out. And their mates are going to tell their mates and it's going to trickle along, along the line. And eventually sponsors will hear about it and be like, oh, this kid is very good with handling with little kids. Let's look at him and who knows, you might get sponsored. So positive mindset all the time, just, yeah. Have fun at the skate park, ride with little kids, help little kids push themselves to become better riders and it will help you a lot. Alrighty, so tip number three, uh, first of all I just want to say sorry if there's any wind noise, um, it's pretty windy out today, hence why I'm not riding because it's very hard to ride in wind. But tip number three is to, it's about Instagram and like social media. So you want to be posting on social media as regularly as possible, you want to post good clips, you want to post good quality clips. Um, Insta edits, all that good stuff. And you want to keep a PG. You don't want to be posting fights in your clips. You don't want to be posting like people punching on and throwing your scooter around. Keep a PG, keep it stylish, cool, good looking, good clips. And also, don't be tagging 50 different companies in your comments. That's not going to help because when sponsors look at you, they're going to look at your Instagram post be like, oh, he tags Envy, District, Fast and Apex. Lucky, Elite, AO, like they're gonna look at that and be like, wow, he's, he's really desperate for a sponsor. We're not gonna sponsor him because he just wants to get sponsored by anyone. He's not gonna do anything for the brand. He just wants free scooter parts. So just post, if, if you're gonna tag anyone, tag the sponsor, sponsor you wanna get sponsored by. So say that's Lucky, tag Lucky in your clips, hashtag Lucky Scooters. Say that's District, tag District Scooters in your clips, hashtag District Scooters. Like, 
and that will mean when the sponsors look at you, they go, oh, he's tagged us in a lot of his clips. He's very keen on our company. He likes our company. We'll look at him even more. And then step two and step one come into play and they combine that all together and then they go, oh, this kid's actually really good. Let's put him on the team. So make sure you have good quality content. Don't be posting like 240p clips that look like they've been filmed on a potato. Film quality clips. Um, put it together in a nice Insta edit. Make sure your videos are PG. There's no fighting, swearing, drinking, smoking, none of that stuff in it. Keep it PG, keep it nice and stylish and just get those bangers posted and don't tag 50 million companies in your clips. And then, yeah, that's tip number three done. Alrighty guys, so tip number four is personally how I actually got looked at by district and that is by entering comps. Comps are probably one of the most best ways to get looked at by a sponsor because a lot of sponsors go to many, many comps and you might not know that they're there, but they're there watching the riders to see who they can pick up basically because they look at people who enter comps because by you entering comps, if you get on the podium, then you're representing their brand. If you come third, you're still representing their brand. If you go to nationals, you're representing their brand. Like they want people to enter comps so they can get their name out there more. So if you don't enter comps, you're not really gonna get looked at too much because there's no real big way of you spreading the name of their company as much. Yeah, you can still do it over Instagram and all that, but by entering comps, you can do it over Instagram, by placing in the comps, even making it to nationals or states, like that's just gonna spread the message about their brand even more. And say for my example, I won nationals in 2019. So what that does for district is they, people look at my run, they go, oh, he rides a district scooter, and the little kids go, oh, I want a district scooter now because he won nationals on it. And it just spreads the message about district even more. So entering comps is one of the best ways you can get looked at by a sponsor because sponsors go to basically every comp there is, there's at least one sponsor there. And I know that from personal, per personal reasons because I've been at the comps and I've talked to many different sponsors, whether that be Apex. I've seen Apex at almost every single ASA comp there is. I've seen um, Game Protection there. Uh, who else? I've seen Dog Tag and many, many others. So like a lot of sponsors go to uh, comps. So just make sure you're there and just compete and have fun. You don't have to place to get looked at. As long as you're there having fun, having a positive mindset, you will get looked at eventually. Trust me. Alrighty guys, so tip number five, the fifth and final tip for this video is another really important tip. All these tips are important. If you combine them all together, your likelihood of getting looked at will increase dramatically. So tip number five is don't message companies on Instagram asking them to sponsor you. This will not work. Trust me, 110% it does not work because it makes you look really desperate because you're just slapping a message out there on Instagram. You're not putting any time and effort into it. So don't do it. Instead, find the email for the team manager of that sponsor that you want to apply for. Whether that be asking a sponsored writer for an email that you can message or something like that, or even if you can't find anything, message them on Instagram and just say, hey, do you have an email for the team manager I can message? Don't ask on Instagram, hey, can you sponsor me? It won't work. So once you find the team manager's email or an email you can actually just email in general, you want to write a formatted email. You want to tell them about you, um, your age, where you're from, any past comps that you've entered and placed in, um, what you can do for the company and why they should sponsor you. What I mean by those last two is what you can give back to the company. So like, they're gonna be giving you scooter parts and exposure on their end. You wanna be giving back to them so they can grow as a brand. Um, so basically, you just wanna be able to post even say in your email, I'll post twice a week, I'll make it every, edit every six months, I'll do this, blah, blah, blah. Tell them what you can do to help grow the brand and then just basically say why they should sponsor you. So because I'm a dedicated scooter rider, I've been riding for blah, blah, blah years. Um, I'm really good with little kids. I do, say you do one-on-one -on -one lessons, I do one-on-one -on -one tuitions with little kids to help them progress. Just say, say stuff about you that makes you look better. Um, don't lie, obviously. Don't say, oh, I do one-on-one -on -one tu tu tuitions if you don't do that. Um, just be honest, so say, say some good things about you and say why they should sponsor you and what they could get back from sponsoring you and giving you scooter parts and stuff like that. And what this will do is make you, make you a lot, look a lot better rather than you just messaging them on Instagram saying, hey, can you sponsor me? 
because it's gonna you're gonna lay it out properly get your mum and dad to check it make sure it's all good and what it'll just look a lot better it'll look like a professional has done it and that someone who's actually keen on the brand has done it so that's my fifth and final tip is to message them through an email whether that be the team writer or just an email that you have managed to get off whether it be a team writer or their, their Instagram page or something like that or the website even websites sometimes have it um, but yeah just write out a formatted email tell them about you uh, how old you are where you're from any past comps you've been in and you've placed and what they can what you could do for the sponsor and why they should sponsor you and it will increase your chances dramatically so that's my fifth and final tip for this video alrighty guys I got Mr. George just here, he's chilling. Hello. That is gonna conclude for today's video. I know I've done this video in the past, but I just thought I might make an update video on it just to help you guys out a little bit more. Um, just gotta remember that these tips aren't gonna get you sponsored 110% guaranteed. What these are gonna do is increase your likelihood of getting looked at by sponsors. It still may not get you sponsored, but what it'll do is just increase that likelihood of you getting looked at. So don't be leaving down in the comments, oh, I did all these tips and I didn't get sponsored. These, you have to be doing these tips every single time you ride. Um, you have to be posting regularly, doing the stuff that I said in your comments. Don't be tagging 50 companies in your posts and like be posting good content every couple of days or once or twice a week and it will increase your likelihood. So hopefully this video has helped you. Um, hopefully you can put some of these steps into play in your day to day life when you're riding and hopefully you will get looked at of being sponsored. Um, if you did end up enjoying this video and learning something from this video, make sure you go down and leave a like. If I'm new to your screen, make sure you go down and press that big red subscribe button, it means a lot. Share this video around to your mates so they can also know these tips so you can both get sponsored because there's nothing better than you and your buddies getting sponsored. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out and I'll see you guys in the next video.